Hey Ben, how you doing? I'm doing good. Um, I know that uh, you really drew a lot of rave reviews uh, during the year that you that you redshirted, and now uh, you're in a position to uh, possibly start. Just talk about what was 2019 like for you? How did it set it up, set yourself up for where you are right now? You know, it was crazy. You know, just like going every day, working hard, getting in the weight room. Because when I came, I I feel like I was nowhere near the collegiate level like as an old lineman. So I had to work, get in the weight room, and then learn like how to block these guys because, you know, they're bigger, faster, stronger. So just had to do all that stuff, and now I'm here. Chris Hartman. Hey, Ben. Uh, Dave Christensen or Zach Hill, have they communicated um, who are the starting five players yet? And uh, if not, what has kind of been said about that? Um, right now, they have me running with the ones for the most part at right tackle, but they haven't told me or told anyone on the team, like, who are the starting five. And just follow up, how do you feel about just, uh, you know, possibly being in position to start? You know, like, this, this is what I work for. This is what I'm, what I'm trying to do. This is, this is one of the stepping stones to where I want to be. So... I mean, um, it's no shock to me. Jacob. Hey, Ben, what's it been like for you to be able to work with Kellen and Henry, and, and what have they been able to teach you in the time that you've gotten to work with them? You know, they've, they've been around the game for a while, so they have a lot of stuff that they could teach me, like little tips and tricks on, on different blocks and different schemes that, that they know. So it's been helpful having them like in my ear coaching me up along with coach C and coach Moore. Oh. Ben, I know coming from Hawaii, any part of the mainland is going to look a whole lot different than, uh, than where you're from. But would it be fair to say that coming to a place like Arizona, maybe versus the Midwest or the East coast, it uh, kind of feels like home, you know, maybe you see, you see a lot, a lot of palm trees you would see uh, more than other places. Sorry. What was that? No, I say like I mean, as far as like transition coming from, coming from Hawaii to the mainland, do you feel that Arizona, obviously not a carbon copy of Hawaii, but maybe similar in some ways, that made the transition also easy for you? Yeah, so I mean, the weather is pretty pretty similar because there's not really four seasons over here, just like Hawaii. Like this past week, it's got kind of cold. It's been like 60s, maybe high 50s, and that kind of like I'm not really used to that, but. I mean, besides that, like, yeah, it's pretty similar, I guess. Just a little bit more dry than humid. Chris. Hey, Ben, what do you think about just where this group is at from a physicality standpoint and, uh, you know, really taking it to opposing defensive lines? Um, I feel like we're ready to go. I mean, we've been preparing so hard and we've been grinding all these days and, We've been going against our defense, and it's not easy to go against our defense. And we've we've been doing that day in and day out. And I feel like physically, physically, we're we're ready to go, and I think that we can compete in the trenches. Zach Keenan. Hey Ben, you, you you've got a really interesting offense right behind you there. Uh, is is it like anything you've you've ever seen in your life? Um, not really, because. In high school, I mean, I ran the air raid. So I'm just used to passing the ball all the time. And now, you know, we've been doing all these runs and then all these motions and different formations. And, you know, it's really crazy. But, you know, you got to learn on the fly. And just I feel like it's a great offense to be in. And, I don't, you know, I think we're going to do really good this season. Hunter. Hi, Ben. I, I know you've played – all over the line throughout high school and even some parts in college. Can you talk about how that's kind of prepared you for this complicated offense and just knowing where all the checks and shifts are? And can you kind of talk about how your versatility has prepared you for learning a scheme like this? Yeah, versatility is really key to me. And, you know, getting moved to center, like, really helped me out, I feel like, because it – allowed me to learn all like like the calls and like what to call as a center because the center has a lot of responsibilities on the line to make calls and know like where everyone's going to tell the running back where he's going 
and then now being at tackle, it's like a whole nother thing, different calls, and you're working more with the tight ends and the guards, and, you know, it's like, it's really helpful to to understand the offense as a complete, like, circle, and I feel like that's going to help me on the long run, too. And uh, Mike? Yeah, Ben, I mean, obviously with not getting to have a full spring, once you guys got pads on from that first day till now, how do you feel that the – like you're saying the communication, but the chemistry with the other guys has developed on the offensive line? Yeah, I feel like the chemistry is there. I mean, we still need to work on, like, a couple, like, little little mistakes and, like, little tricks that we need to, like, communicate more on, like, with the chemistry because we all got to be on the same page 24-7, like – we can't have any mess ups in the chemistry. And I feel like we we work on it every day. We have indie periods where we just go with the old line, just work on our double teams, work on our cutoff blocks and work on with the tight ends on these run plays and work on blitz pickups and all this stuff. And I feel like our chemistry is like so close to being there. I feel like by the time we get to USC, we'll be like really close to being perfect. And last question, Chris Carr. Yeah, Ben, um, from a physical skill set standpoint, where do you feel like you've made the, the biggest strides in the last year? Um, um, I can't really say, like, one specific thing because, I mean, I'm one of those guys that, like, I can't just stop and be complacent. Like, I just keep got to get better and, keep working on my craft because I'm still young. Like all these guys, they know more than me. They've been around the game longer than me. They've been in college, like they've played in college. So I sort of keep grinding, keep working on what I got to be doing on. And I feel like I've made huge jumps in my abilities and my physical attributes, but I feel like there's no stopping now.